What's up guys? It's been a minute since I picked up the camera. Um, I, I'm sorry. I tried. I actually recorded two whole videos off. My Got forced inside by the neighbor's dog. We're here in the new apartment in LA. I actually filmed two full videos. Um, but the file size is too big on the camera to edit on my iPhone. I no longer have an editor or videographer. I'm still, still trying to figure that out while I'm here in LA. Uh, so it's been a little stressful and I wasn't able to get those two videos done. The prize picks trip video, which was a shame because that was really cool. Maybe I can find a way to save some of those clips. And then the move in video where everything went wrong. So I'll fill you guys in a little bit, but guys, a little apartment tour. Um, it's actually sick, like it's small, smaller than it was in Texas, but it's sick. So here's the front door, right? You got the shoes that I wear on a daily basis, the little key drawer, the Young LA boxes, the Black Friday haul just came in. We got my kitchen right here. So we got the fridge, countertop space over there. We got the most important things in the house, the air fryer, Ninja Creamy blender. We're getting back on track. I'm finally settled in here in LA. Like my parents were just here for a whole weekend. They helped me set everything up. It actually looks like a house now and not a frat house. Um, and I kind of have like a clear headspace. So I'd like to really keep this place clean. We're getting back in the gym. My back finally feels so much better. If you guys didn't watch the last video, um, I broke my back again. This is the second time in my life it happened. And uh, it, was, it was terrible. I couldn't walk and uh, I was in a lot of pain, but we're, we're getting a lot better. It's been about nine weeks since the you know, injury really started to bother me, maybe 10 weeks now. Right here, we got the Amazon leather couch, a mirror where I'm here in my underwear, my Harley Davidson painting, two chairs, the TV. Funny story about the TV, it's broken. And so is the other TV. So is the computer screen. So is a dresser. Um, they lost a box. The moving company was absolutely fucking terrible. They've been giving me the runaround for about two weeks. They're not like accepting my insurance claim. So my TVs are all broken. I've been watching it on a literal broken TV screen. Look at this. They fucking broke it. Here's my bedroom right here. I got to make my bed, but there's my bed. It's actually Josh's bed. When Josh moved to Dubai, he gave me his bed. So I have a king mattress. It's a little bit too big for my room. Then we got my another mirror, a mirror of me in my underwear, the TV, and a little lion. My TV, this TV is the only one that wasn't broken, but they lost the remote. Here's the best part of the house. Besides my $5,000 painting, I got that $5,000 painting at Goodwill for $2. It's like a Chinsano, I don't know, some French art gallery has the other one. There's two and I fucking found one at a Goodwill in Florida. And it's real, it's certificated, certif certified. We got my studio space. So we have the sneaker shelf. I'm thinking to like set my camera up right here and do try on hauls and like get ready with me's and like, I don't know, the whole get ready with me thing is a little cringe, but you know, your boy's in the content of making, con your boy is in the job or career of content, which is inherently cringe anyway. So then we got the light in here to make it look better. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul for you guys. If you see this address, that's not my address. So don't fucking pull up to this address because it's not online. Oh wow, it has my phone number on it. We're gonna delete that clip. We'll also, I'm gonna take you through a little day in the life as well, like a full day of eating. A cream of rice, I just downed a coffee with protein powder. So I'll cook this up and then head to the gym. All right, we got the cream of rice with this protein, cinnamon, and almond butter. You guys wanna make sure that it only is almonds. Good and Gather from Target has one, but that's the ones you guys wanna get. And we got the fucking Spanish cream of rice, bro. Crema de arroz. I'm lonely, bro, dead ass. I'm thinking about getting a dog. I feel like that'd be a really cool video if I go pick up a dog from the shelter and like, well, not, not just for the video because like, you know, I want a dog, but yeah, I think I'm thinking of getting a dog. I think I'm gonna get a dog. Um, the only problem is I love pit bulls. Like I love dogs that look like they can eat children. Like it's a weird obsession I have with pit bulls. Like I love pit bulls. I think that they're like the best dog breed ever, but they're huge and I can't fly on a plane with a dog that is fucking that big. I'm between going to pick up a fucking chihuahua or going to pick up a pit bull. So I don't really know, but stay tuned for when I get a dog. All right. 
I'm gonna put you guys on to one of the best pre-workouts like that I found. Not pre-workout as in like company. It really works. I like Rise a lot. You guys know I work with Rise, but there's other companies that are good. Um, Snapple Zero Sugar Raspberry. Um, that shit tastes really good. It's the raspberry tea. Mix that with the Country Time Lemonade. Uh, I just put it in the Helomix. I do not have a code with Helomix. If you want to support my little brother, it's code Mo. Um, he used to make you know a bunch of videos. I'm trying to force him to make it again. But if you guys want to get a Helomix, use code Mo. It's for my little brother. But yeah. all right. So this is my first time seeing the upstairs. It was just finished. It's fucking dope. We got the big ass TVs in the wall. Big, big TVs in the wall. Nice ass little chandeliers, a bar, couch seating area. They got the bar. Then it's sick, look, they got all the bottles. This is for like athletes to come make content, hang out um, for parties and like things we do here. This is cool and I'll show you guys the aerial view of like we're right here where I was just playing. Young LA on the court. We got the Young LA on the wall, treadmills, the whole setup. So. It's dope as fuck. Um, I'm really happy to be out here in LA. I hope everything goes well. Um, while I'm out here, it's scary, you know, leaving Anaka, going to Young LA and Rise. It's like two more companies that obviously I need to perform well for sales-wise to keep my job. And it's a lot more expensive to stay out here in LA. Like my rent's more, like six, $700 more per month. Gas is more, food is more. Um, a videographer right now so it's like hard but your boy's working on it we're gonna head home show you guys what I'm having post-workout I forgot how hard this whole vlogging by yourself thing was but skinny pasta if you guys follow me on TikTok, I made a video for skinny pasta and it got well I made a video of skinny pasta they didn't pay me to do it or anything and they got like two and a half or 2.8 million views and they DM me they were like hey we'd love to send you some pasta so skinny pasta is here. I'll show you guys what I got. I'm gonna make a TikTok to say thank you to them. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm fucking stoked. This is gonna be my post-workout meal. Super low carb, super low calorie. If you guys want any skinny pasta, they have it in the TikTok shop. Go to my TikTok, go to the TikTok store on my page, buy it. It's like 50% off, so it's like $4. All right, there you go. Peppers, onions, mushrooms, skinny pasta, chicken. Whole meal is pretty much just chicken because mushrooms, onions, peppers have pretty much no calories. Skinny pasta is nine calories. The chicken is maybe 200 at most. I think it was maybe 200 grams of chicken, probably less. It was just one chicken breast. So I'd say probably the whole thing was like maybe 350 calories, maybe. We got one game on and another game on on the broken TV. Your boy is running up this prize picks account. On Sunday, I had $24 in my account. Right now, $3,500 in the account plus money open. I killed this weekend. Brings us to today's sponsor of the video. If you guys want to join prize picks, code Italian when you sign up. Prize picks makes fantasy sports super easy. You just click more or less over under let's say you want to guess that last night in the football game josh allen i took the under i said there's no way this dude's throwing 275 yards absolutely ridiculous i was right he barely fucking threw the ball at all dude sucked last night through mad interceptions we were killing it chilling your boy made money last night so if you guys want to sign up for prize picks i'm going to post all my picks i just made it a new account on tiktok it's called marco cash if you guys want to find it i give out my picks there and like i post my picks for fun I'm not the best, okay? I'm, I'll, you'll probably lose some money before you win some money. It's up and down, up and down. But just remember, you never lose until you quit. Football right there, and three tacos, chicken and rice. That's gonna wrap up my day of eating. Probably, maybe I'll have a creamy, which is just a protein shake and cashew milk that's frozen. Blend it in a Ninja Creamy. All right, guys, we're about to do the try-on haul. Before I try everything on, don't forget, Code Italian, November 21st, Young Black Friday. Um, it would mean the world if you guys support me. It's been a crazy move to here to LA and I really wanna focus on content and giving you guys the best that I can give you. Um, and I would appreciate the support by using my code on Young LA, Rise, um, Flex Pro, Prize Picks, um, the whole shebang, but yeah. All right guys, so I just showered, got home from the gym. We're gonna do this try on haul. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it short. but. <clears throat> Wife lovers, I think they're restocking too. I really like the wife lovers that Young LA has. I feel like they fit super nice. Not to like grab my balls in front of all of you guys, it's a little weird. 
Two chairs completely filled with outfits. All right, so these are by far some of my favorite like fits. Like I like all matching sets. We got the quarter zip top with the matching bottoms. Young LA on the side. I'm a big fan of this one. You guys can kind of wear it open, fold it over. I kind of like it a little bit unzipped and fold it over a little bit like a polo. But if you guys like the matching sets, I think they come in like six or seven different colorways. I think you see hella different colorways, but if I had to pick five items, this would be in my top five. All right, so I did cut all my hair off. As you guys saw, I kind of have a buzz cut that's not a buzz cut anymore. Kind of regretting it, want to grow my hair back out. So it's beanie season. Your boys gonna be wearing hella beanies. I can't wear like my fitted hats anymore because I don't have any flow in the back, so it looks weird. But this is it in black. I also really like this one. Those are my two favorite colors, kind of like darkish gray, black. They have the loose bottoms, so they look really good with a pair of Jordan 4s or New Balances. Jordan 1s like kind of going over the top. Any kind of chunky shoe looks really good with like the loose cut bottoms. All right, next thing we got, they made these sick long sleeves. I'm a big fan of long sleeves because my arms aren't the biggest. Like I have long arms, I'm about 6'1", six, 6'1 one, six, one and a half. So my arms are gonna be long. And sometimes I feel like they're super skinny. So the long sleeves, they fit nice. So they kind of compress a little bit, but they give the illusion my arms are a little bit bigger than they are. I pull them up a little bit. And then they got these nice loose fitting cargos. These are extra large. All my pants are an extra large. All my shirts, hoodies, everything is an extra large. So I like how they're baggy. They have the big pockets. I don't like scrunch bottom pants. I'm not a fan of any jogger or anything with like the scrunch bottoms. Not for me, I like the loose fitting pants, so you throw a pair of Jordans on. So this is, you know, the first fit, and then I'm gonna keep the pants and show you guys a kind of more stylish fit to go with it. Or dressed up. You don't have to put a Young LA, like plain white tee under it. I just like the fact that obviously I get these shirts for free. If you guys want any plain white tees, H&M has great ones. Um, Uniqlo has great ones. You can look online, but, but this jacket is sick. It has the one little pocket. Uh, with the young LA button the other one doesn't have it. It's a button-up So I like how it has like the silver buttons and it's cut really nice So if you want to wear like an oversized white shirt Let's say you have one that goes down to here you get a little bit of like the crop look This is an extra large and it fits really good. So right, Next outfit only complaint I have about this is the bottom are scrunch So if you guys like joggers, that's cool I might cut mine because if you cut them, they'll be like a little distressed on the bottom so this is the full fit. This also comes in like seven different colorways. I have the black one, the gray one, and this blue one. These are like my favorite t-shirts dropping. The long sleeves, this is my favorite one. I love the color black. Um, I think it makes everything super simple. So we have the long sleeve black tee. It fits perfect in an extra large. The little young LA on the back, which I really like. And then they have these, they have two different types of these pants. So one is the flagship track pant. And then the other one, I forget what they're called. Um, but this is more of like a, if you used to play soccer or basketball and you had those Adidas track pants that were like super smooth but not nylon feeling, they feel like that. And these are the pants I was talking about. I'm sorry if I'm a little far away. I didn't realize my camera lens is like super far. So I gotta get a short lens so it's a little better. I have the one lens. Uh, I'm not a videographer or an editor. I'm funny. Um, I don't even look good anymore. I'm just funny. So that's all I got going for me But I love these pants a lot. I love those pants a lot You can wear white and black and gray are usually the colors you can't go wrong with All right So these are the other version the black version of those loose fitting like cargo type sweats that I really like I want to show you what they look like with a flannel So if you guys get a flannel or a hoodie that you like um, This goes perfect with it so here's what it would look like with the, with the flannel and the sweat. You could wear it with jeans. You could wear it with a, like a tank up under it or an oversized white shirt. I'm a big fan of the flannel. So they're dropping. They have another colorway I really like, but just want, I don't want to waste you guys' time. Show you the shit. That's cool. Put some outfits together and move on. So these are the new Immortal Joggers. I like these a lot. I like these better than the first edition. Um, they do have the scrunch bottom. Mm. I want... Flare bottoms, bro. I have fucking fat thighs. 
I want to like have loose fitting pants, but I do actually really like these. I like the young leg down the leg and then all the different kind of patches. They're perforated. So they look really nice. Uh all right. So this is the next fit. I'm not sure if I like this shirt or not. It might be just a little bit too much for me. Um, I do like big graphics. I'm just not the biggest fan of this one, but I know a lot of people like it. So I figured I'd show it to you. We got the small little young LA hint in the middle, which I really like. And then stuff down the sleeves, which is fine. I'm just not the biggest fan of this back graphic. However, I do like the shirt. Um, I would pair it. Let's just say it's a plain white shirt. I would pair it with these like jogger, not joggers, cargos and this jacket. So I'm a big fan of the cargo pants they make. They fit really well. They fit my big ass thighs. Um, and the jacket. So I like this one a lot. I have it in red and black. Probably my next favorite item in the top five list, the utility pants. These are my favorite pants they made for sure. They got the two pockets on the side. They're nice, like loose legs. They have the little hammer holder. Not that any of you guys are going to use these for construction, but all right, now it's time to get into the compression stuff, which is probably my favorite for when I'm lean. Like I'm not lean right now, but it kind of tucks your tummy in a little bit. So even if you got a little belly, makes you look a little better. Paired it up with the flagship pants. Makes you look pretty good. You know, it sucks you nice and in. Doesn't make you look too bad. They come in short sleeves as well, which I'll, I'll put on for you guys. Ooh, ooh, baby. I love the way these fit. These are the superhuman or Superman and super villain or superhuman. They look fucking sick, bro. The long sleeves, they killed it. Got the little hoochie daddy shorts on. Um, these fit really nice. They come in a bunch of different colors. I have red, black, white, gray, and I think blue. Um, and I like the way they fit. I'm a big fan of these, especially for leg day, acting like I hit legs I don't. Um, We're not back in the gym long enough to be wearing tank tops yet. Good chunky, I got like no definition. Haven't worked out in like 10 weeks. Just started getting back in the gym, so I feel very flat and chunky, but they do have the compression tanks, which fit nice. I'll give you that. It does fit very nice. I just don't, I'm not fit, but I feel good. Feel good in it. It's nice and like, I don't know, shows, shows your body nicely. These are my next two favorite items. I'll kind of like wrap everything up. I'm literally wearing a gym tank top, hoochie daddy shorts and a puffer jacket, but this is dope. I'm a big fan of the puffers. Uh, if you guys get like, if you guys go skiing or anything, I'm gonna probably use this when I go snowboarding. Bro, this shit's a whole mood. Just sit on your couch like this. But yeah, I'll show you the black one. This one is a little more low profile. Um, not as puffy, but big fan. If you guys do want any Young LA stuff, code Italian, don't forget. Um, Black Friday is gonna be crazy. I love you guys, thank you. Moving to a company has been hard. Moving to a new company has been hard. It's been stressful. Um, I feel like I can't perform, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that it's been easy. You know, I've been very stressed. I'm sorry I've been missing uploads, but I'm trying to get everything done, I'm trying to emotionally be there, mentally be there, get everything back going, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. New videos will be out every week again. Um, I love y'all and I'll catch you in the next one. Black Friday, Code Italian, November 21st.